Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn another topic, which are tiptoe. So if you're ready, let's get started. Alright, so what is tiptoe walking? So tiptoe walking is actually known as toe walking, which is a gait pattern where an individual constantly walk on the balls of their feet or toes. Uh, it is usually with minimal or no contact with the heels on the ground. So actually, in children, tiptoeing is a common behavior where they walk on their toes instead of using their entire foot. So it's often seen in early childhood exploration and play. While some of the children naturally outgrow this behavior, persistent tiptoe walking may warrant attention from a healthcare professional to rule out the any underlying um, issue. So it is essential to distinguish between, between typical developmental behavior uh, cases where tiptoe walking may signal on underlying medical and neurological condition. So actually, there are three types of tiptoe walking. So the first one called occasional tiptoeing. So uh, it is common in toddler during early exploration and play. Uh, and this type of uh, tiptoe uh, is a part of development. So toddler may tiptoe okay, occasionally, but generally trans transition to a typical heel to toe walking pattern as they grow. So uh, this is typically considered a normal and transient behavior in early stages of walking. So next we have persistent tiptoe walking. So uh, persistent uh, tiptoe walking actually involves consistent walking on the pulse of the feet beyond the typical age for occasional tiptoeing. So it can be associated with underlying medical and neurological condition, uh, developmental issue or muscle tightness. Alright, so the last one is uh, idiopathic tiptoe walking or we call it as ITW. So uh, this is actually a persistent tiptoe uh, walking without a apparent underlying cause. So it's a diagnosis of exclusion where other potential medical or neurological causes are ruled out through the clinical examination and medical history. So uh, the treatment may include the physical therapy to address muscle tightness and promote a typical walking pattern. So monitoring is needed uh, to track the progress. So the causes of tiptoe walking can vary and uh, may include these three causes, which are the first one is normal development. So toddler often exhibit tiptoe walking as the normal part of their development. So it is a common behavior during early exploration and play. So uh, typically toddler outgrow occasionally tiptoeing as they gain better control over their muscle and transition to heel to toe walking pattern. So the next causes is underlying medical condition. So persistent tiptoe tip walking beyond the toddler years may be associated with specific medical or neurological condition such as cerebral palsy, muscular dystrophy, genetic muscle, autism, social communication disorder, and gait abnormalities. And lastly, we have idiopathic tip, uh, toe walking. So idiopathic toe, toe walking refers to a persistent toe walking without a apparent cause. So... Uh, it is a diagnosis of exclusion, meaning other potential causes may have been ruled out through clinical examination, medical history, and if necessary, uh, additional tests may include it. So, identifying the specific cause is crucial for determining the most appropriate intervention, whether it involves monitoring normal development or, or addressing underlying medical issue or implementing targeted therapies. Alright, now let's discover the symptom of tiptoe walking. So, the symptom of tiptoe walking can be vary and their severity may depend on the underlying cause. So, it may include these three aspects, which is the physical sign, balance issue, 
and social impact so as for physical science so the it's mainly effect the toe walking posture so the invi- individual with uh tip toe walking con- will consistently demonstrate a uh, toe walking with posture posture where the weight or uh, is born primary primary on the balls of the feet or toes so it usually with minimal or no contact with the heels plus the foot alignment may be observed uh, to the people with tip to walking so the second aspect is balance issue so um, difficulty with flat-footed movement uh, may related to people with tiptoe walking. So this individual may struggle to stand or walk with their entire foot on the ground and may affect their balance and coordination. Plus, uh, this tiptoe walking can result in altered gait uh, where it can potentially affecting the overall biomechanical a uh, biomechanic of walking. And last aspect is social impact. So usually people with um, tiptoe walking or especially children can consistently uh, be subjected to teasing or bullying from peers due to their distinctive gait. So not just that, a child may become more self-conscious about their walking pattern which may impact their confidence and social interaction. So if so, recognizing this uh, symptom provide valuable insight for healthcare professional to determine the appropriate cause of action. So if you have um, detect this kind of symptom to your child or to someone you know, please um, take them to diagnose. So the diagnosis of tiptoe walking may involve a comprehensive approach just like this for um, example I give. So the first one is clinical examination. So healthcare professional can assess the individual with gait, foot positioning and muscle tone through a physical examination. So just go to the um, nearest clinic and get clinical examination from the professional hacker and next is medical history so the doctor may gather the information about the individual uh, developmental milestone family history and any relevant medical condition that can help identify potential underlying cause not just that a doctor also might observe and analyze the individual walking pattern that helps to determine whether tip to walking is a normal developmental phase or if it persists uh, and requires further investigation. All right. And lastly, exclusion of other causes. So to diagnosis idiopathic tip to walking, healthcare provider rule out another medical condition such as neurological disorder of muscular tissue through assessment and examination. So the treatment approach for tiptoe walking is depend on the individual. So it may be different because the underlying causes might be different for each individual. So some of the treatment, uh, this is some of the example of the treatment. The first one is physical therapy. So the purpose of physical therapy is to address the muscle tightness and improve flexibility and promote a more typical walking pattern. So for example, um, they might do the stretching exercise for calf muscle, strengthening exercise for foot and ankle muscle. So the second example is orthotic devices. So orthotic devices such as braces or splints may be prescribed to help maintain proper foot alignment and support the development of heel to toe walking pattern. So this typically worn during specific time like daytime activities or nighttime during sleep. And last one is monitoring. 
So regular follow up with healthcare professional allow for ongoing assessment of progress and potential adjustment to the treatment plan. So monitoring any changes in gait or walking pattern over time must be um must be done to the patient. So there are few several um treatment uh such as intervention or behavioral intervention or even sur surgical intervention that may help people with deep two. So the choice of treatment are depend on the specific circumstance and should be determined in consultation with healthcare professional. So early intervention and a multidisciplinary approach often need the best outcome for this um for this tiptoe walking. So to conclude, tiptoe walking is a diverse phenomenon with various underlying causes. While occasionally toe walking is a normal part of early childhood development, persistent tiptoe walking can signal underlying issues as such as neurological condition and muscle tightness or developmental changes. And lastly, idiopathic tiptoe walking categorized by persistent toe walking without a clear cause and it require careful diagnosis and management. So the treatment approaches encompass uh, physical therapy, orthopedic devices, monitoring, uh, and in severe cases might involve surgical. So early identification and intervention are crucial for optimal outcomes. So collaboration among healthcare professionals, including physical therapists, orthopedic specialists, and pediatrician is essential for comprehensive and tailored approach. Okay, by underlying this diverse manifest uh, manif manifestation of tiptoe walking and addressing its root causes, we can provide individual, especially children, with the necessary support to develop a more typical walking uh, pattern by promote overall well-being and enhance their quality of life. All right, so that's all from me. Thank you so much for uh, your attention. Thank you.